huh? Cold? This ain't cold. Well, for me, it's cold. people call a migrant worker. That means that me and my family travel all over the country picking crops. You know, like beans and grapes and lettuce and things like that. Me and my mother and my brother, Nikki was living out in the migrant shacks out by the tomato fields. The tomatoes had already been picked and the other migrant workers' families had left. My father was out in Arizona looking for work and we were waiting for him to telephone us to tell us where to go. And so I was getting nervous because we were running out of money and I didn't know what to do. Angel? 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 sold you bought? You hardly got any more money. What happened to the money that Papa left? We spent it. How are we going to eat if we ain't got money? I don't know, Aunt Jack. Papi, how are we going to eat? Don't you talk to your mother that way. A tu madre se le respeta, oíste? ¿Qué te crees? Eso es lo único que faltaba ahora. I'm sorry, Mammy, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, don't cry. I'm gonna call Anne Marie in Texas. Maybe she knows where Papi is. I mean, Fix it. So there's something going wrong. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. What do you want? I want you to come fix my phone. It's broken. Got to call the telephone office. How am I going to call the telephone office if my phone's broken? You have somebody else's phone. Who's? I don't know who's. Anybody else's? That's who's. Hey, Mister! Hey, Mister! Hey, beat it! I ain't gonna beat it till you come and fix my phone, and you ain't coming off that pole if you don't come and fix my pole. Where do you live? In the houses behind the tomato field. I thought all you people moved out a couple of months ago. No, some of us people are still here. And some of us people even got broken telephones. All right, I'll call my office and they'll send a man tomorrow. No good. What do you mean, no good? This guy I get fixed today. What's the hurry? The hurry is my father's supposed to call from Arizona. So call tomorrow. Ah, oh, come on, man. My mother's so crying, you're just gonna sit up there doing nothing. What is it with you? All right. I'll call the office and see if it's all right. Okay? 
pretty cold, eh? We'll go inside. It's cold inside, too. No heat? Not too much. Doesn't matter. Because soon as my father calls and says he got some work, we'll be leaving for Arizona. Big Joe. Big Joe from Mexico. Hey, Big Joe, you got any jobs around your house? Paint your garage, clean your attic, you know, that kind of stuff? No, no job, sorry. Hello, this is Joe Zunza. Give me a check on 555-9728 and call me right back. Yeah, how's the line look? Okay, thanks. Release the line. Okay, your phone is working. What's your name? Angel. What? Angel. No, I can have you. Angel what? Angel Diaz. How you spell that? D-I-A-Z. C? D-I-A-Z. Hot coffee? No, thanks, man. I gotta go. Hope you get your call, Angel. After that, I didn't see Big Joe for a couple of weeks. And things were getting really bad. My father still hadn't called. So I got me a job after school and on weekends. You might say I went into business for myself. Big Joe, yeah. that line out there is all yours? Yes, yeah, mine. You ought to put in some nice cash crops, you know, like lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, or something. Too much trouble. Too much trouble? Are you crazy? You know how much money you're losing out there? Never mind how much I'm losing. It's a waste, Big Joe. Real waste. All oh, that beautiful land just sitting out there doing nothing. Hey, what's that? What's what? That thing out there. Oh, that's my greenhouse. Your greenhouse? Yeah. My son Pete and I were gonna build that greenhouse and grow some flowers. Flowers? Yeah, flowers. You know what you get for roses these days? A dozen roses, 15 bucks, sometimes more. Now that is a good cash crop. What happened? Pete joined the Navy. So why don't you get your wife to help you? I'm divorced. Then hire me, I'll help you. <laughs> no, that's okay. Forget it. Fifteen bucks a dozen? Man, if it was my place, you'd see roses coming out the chimney. So then I came around a few times a week, because Joe asked me to help him with some other things. Funny thing is, at first, I didn't like Big Joe too much. And I didn't like him because I didn't think he liked me. But then one time, Big Joe told me about how when he was in the war and they were fighting, and there was a lot of shooting. And these guys were getting killed and everything. 
and he told me about how he got so scared that all of a sudden he couldn't talk no more for a long time. I couldn't talk. I tried to yell. I couldn't yell. I couldn't do anything. I was frozen. Then I think when the main shooting stopped, we all got up. So when he told me that, I liked them because I figured that when someone told you about how when they were so scared they couldn't talk, they must like you pretty good too. I once read in this book about how there's millions of planets up in the sky. And the man that wrote the book, he said that there was people living on them. You think he's right? I don't know. I've never been there. Well, if there was people, what kind of people do you think they are? Probably some kind of weirdos. Hmm. Wouldn't it be funny that they were all Spanish people like me? You know, Puerto Ricans, Mexican, and they were real powerful. And they came down here, and millions of these flying saucers. And I'm gonna run out there, and I'm gonna go, hey, baby, que pasa? Habla puñol. I'm your friend, Angel. And they're gonna say, hey, Angel, baby. We're here to get all them bad hombres that are hurting the Spanish people. And I'm gonna say, yeah, well, I know who they are. But don't worry, it's with my friend Big Joe here. Cause he just looks me, you know, tu sabe? And they say, lead on, little Spanish brother. And I say, fire! <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, kid. <laughs> I've been thinking. How would you like to help me finish building the greenhouse? The greenhouse? Yeah, we could start tomorrow. You mean it? Yeah, I mean it. If we make some money, I'll give you some of the profits. <laughs> Mommy! I got this job! Me and Big Joe are gonna grow roses and we're gonna have a lot of money, Mommy, a lot of money. The kids, I got to you. to build the greenhouse. Now, you gotta remember that I've been working in the fields and picking crops my whole life. And I hated it, hated it. But working with Big Joe was not like really working. It was more like playing around and having fun. I really liked it.
I started to feel good about Big Joe and the Roses, the more I started to feel bad about my mother. My father still hadn't called, and my mother really missed him. I missed him too, but I was wishing he wouldn't call, at least not right now. What the money? I want to leave this place. I want to go to Aunt Maria. Mommy, we can't go to Aunt Maria's house now. How's Papa gonna know where we are? I don't even know where I'm going. I'm too scared. Te apure, mami. Te apure. No se falta el viejo. I began to feel like a real rat. My mother was worried and crying. And all that time, the only thing I was really thinking about was the roses. We'll cut it. Come on. Four dollars a dozen for them. Four dollars a dozen? You gotta be kidding, man. You're gonna sell them out there for fifteen thousand? You're gonna give us four? Huh? Those are roses, not tomatoes, man. Let, let me handle it. I'm sorry. Look, man, he's trying to cheat us, man. I said, let me handle it. Okay, you handle it. Six dollars. I tell you what, I'll give you four fifty a dozen. I'll take all the roses you got. Let's go. Five dollars a dozen. That's it. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Two more greenhouses. Two more? Yeah, that's what I said. We keep putting back the profits into the business. In a few years, we're really going to have something. What's the matter? I probably won't be here. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. So why don't you stay? Stay? Where am I going to stay? Right here. There's plenty of room. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I really want you to stay. What are you going to do? Pick crops the rest of your life? No. No, I ain't. 
But, you know, I'm a family man. They need me. Let me tell you something. My father worked his whole life down in the mines, and when I was 14, I quit school and went down in the mines to work with him. I liked school. I was good in school, but I quit because I thought my parents needed me to help out. I spent six years down in the coal mines, eating coal dust and hating every minute of it, and hating my father for letting me do it. One day, on a day off, I was sitting in the park, and I was watching two kids who were playing. They were having a great time, just laughing and playing. And I tried to remember the time, the last time that I had felt like laughing, and I couldn't remember it. And I got really angry. I didn't want to work in the mines. I didn't want to work in the mines! All right, I had a responsibility to them. But what about me? I had a responsibility to me, too. So, I ran home, packed a bag, kissed them goodbye, and left that town. And the funny thing is, my family didn't starve after I left. But I almost spent my entire life down in the mines just because I thought they would. I'd like you to think about that. I'll call you tomorrow? Yeah. Hey, I'll see you. Night, John. about what you said. Don't worry, I ain't gonna work in no mines. And I ain't gonna pay cross the rest of my life, neither. But I think my family needs me. Maybe they really don't, but that's the way I feel. So I gotta go with them. I think you should build your greenhouses anyway. But next time, Big Joe, don't take less than $7 a dozen. Because those roses sure were beautiful. Thanks for wanting me for your partner. And I hope maybe I'll see you again someday. Real good friend, Angel.